Hey everybody, I've got some awesome lettuce, romaine lettuce, at the farmer's market today. And I want to show you guys how to prep this so it will keep for like a whole week in the refrigerator if it can last that long uh, before you eat it, that is. Uh, so I have my trusty salad spinner here, which is so great. I got it at TJ Maxx. And it works really, really good to clean your produce, and then you spin it and get all the water out. So I'm just going to show you real quick how I do that. These are great. And one of my family members said, if you don't have a salad spinner, you have to have a salad spinner. So I got one, and now I wonder how I ever got along without it. So you just stick your lettuce leaves in there. And sometimes if they're too big, you can break them off and stick smaller leaves in there. And just fill this baby up with water. Get it all covered really good. And I like to kind of get that washing machine agitation going. It helps to really get the dirt and sediment off the produce. So just wash it really good. Tuck it down in there. Then once it gets full, kind of tuck it in agitate it. And then I pull the basket out and let the water off and out. Now the water is pretty dirty. So pump it out. And usually I like to take my hand and you know, do this and I can actually see that there's still a lot of dirt in here. So see it and feel it. So I'm going to rinse this out. And Fill it up again. It's nice right now because the water is really cold. So it'll help to get it crisp really fast. Like if you want to have your lettuce or salad or whatever you're going to use it for. Now it'll be nice and crisp. But otherwise, if you're going to store it, I usually like to buy a bunch of it and then prep it like this and then it'll keep at least for a week, which is really nice. So I buy a bunch at the farmer's market today. Today's my farmer's market shopping day and this is how I prep it and it will last a week, but I'll usually eat it up before a week goes by. should be pretty good. Like It just rained yesterday, so there's a little bit more dirt and stuff on the produce. Just a quick little spin. So then after that, then you take the lid, put it on top, and this is a great arm workout. You just push down. so you can kind of see it spinning, hopefully. So you spin it. And then all the excess water comes pouring out. And then it's got a little spout there where you can do that. And then spin it again. A little bit more water came out. And then, what I do is take a paper towel, so I put this here, paper towel, and then stick the lettuce in the paper towel, freshly spun, like this, and 
then grab a plastic bag, it's a black bag, and fold it up like this, stick it in the bag, and you can usually, depending on how small the lettuce is, you can fit a couple of them in here. <coughs> Suck all the air out and then stick it in the fridge like this and it will last, seriously, for like a, a week. And then I do the same thing with my celery. I rinse it really good. Get all the excess dirt off of there. And then, depending on how big you need one or two paper towels. This one's pretty big. Nice and heavy. I always try to get a, a celery that's really heavy because then that means it's really dense with a lot of water and nutrients and it'll be really crunchy. So then just let a little bit of the excess out and then I'll stick this in a bag as well. I usually like to reuse my bag so if I get a produce bag at the market it's clean. As long as it's clean I'll stick that in there and I'll just wrap it up like this and then stick it in the fridge and then it will stay fresh for a, at least a week. And um, obviously it's better when it's eaten on the day that it's picked, but uh, this will last because we can't always buy our vegetables every day freshly picked, so this works really well. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, on storing your produce and making it last and stay fresh. Thanks guys!